Hi everybody, Rob here from Pariah Studios and welcome to this quick tip video. Now, I've been asked a fair few times recently um, by various modelers how you control subdivision surfaces without having to add edge cuts and by that I'll show you what I mean. So if you've got a simple cube and you subdivide it but you want the top to be kind of nice and flat, well you could go into polygon mode and you'd hit K and in loop mode you could add in a cut like this or maybe two cuts if you want it to be really tight. But there are times when you want to, don't want to do that. Either the rest of the model prevents you from doing it, or maybe you're working on a game asset, and if you do start making too many cuts, then actually you'd find that your, your polygon count is too high um, for the budget involved. So there is another way. And if we, let's just go into edge mode, and we'll make a loop selection around that same set of edges there. Now you can access this tool by hitting M, R, or you can right click and go to Cinema 4D Tags or you can hit Shift C and just type in Weight and we're looking for the bottom one which is Weight Subdivision Surfaces and when you click it, nothing happens. Now, if I click and drag in the viewport you can see I'm dragging to the right to sharpen that crease and to the left to decrease it just to smooth it out. Now, as I'm doing this, you can't see any changes here uh, in the Attributes Manager but you can change them here so if we wanted to go from strength at 80 odd what it was to 57 you can do that uh, or crank it right up to 100 and then you've got a, a completely unsmoothed transition from those polygons to the next polygons now what you can also do is select the tag itself which is created once you let go of that initial drag and that will show you the fall off there what's also useful here is that you can change the subdivision of your sub d object using these settings here so the same settings as you would see up there but it means that you can come in here and you can kind of see the effect of what's going on with your various subdivision levels. So that's hopefully a, a particularly useful quick tip. If you work with organic models or even hard edge models, but you don't want to be doing bevels and you want to smooth the, the creases or the, the transition from um, one polygon to the next, then this is a, another method of doing it. And it's a, a pretty quick and easy way to do it. So I've been Rob Redman and I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.